Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists at Purdue University have used a remarkable new material to generate tiny holograms. This new material, a meta-surface consisting of a thin layer of gold foil containing thousands of V-shaped nanoantennas, generates holograms when exposed to light from a laser. In this illustration, we see a representation of such a hologram. When this hologram was actually created experimentally using the metasurface, the word Purdue was less than 100 microns wide, roughly the width of a human hair. Learning to manipulate materials like this metasurface could eventually lead to the development of nanophotonic devices that would significantly increase the speed of computing and telecommunications. And speaking of photons, scientists at the Max Planck Institute of Quantum Optics have developed a device that allows them to observe photons without destroying them. Until now, methods of detecting light, including the one used by our eyes, all resulted in the absorption and destruction of the photons being detected. This new device avoids destroying the photon by bouncing it off of a single rubidium atom and then measuring the change in the state of the rubidium atom. Rather than being absorbed, the photon is reflected with its properties intact. The ability to observe and measure photons without altering or destroying them opens up the possibility of transferring single photons from one point to the next in a network, an essential step in developing quantum communications. Finally, look at this stunning new image just released of star cluster NGC 3572, which is located 6,500 light years away in the constellation Carina. This image was captured by the European Southern Observatory's La Silla Observatory in Chile. It vividly depicts the young blue stars that astronomers estimate have been forming in this star cluster over the last 10 million to 20 million years. Here's another wider view of the same cluster. You know, sometimes viewers of these videos ask me how I can consider something like this, a picture of some stars, to be good news. After all, it doesn't affect our lives here on Earth. But I disagree. Knowing more about the universe, being reminded not only of its vastness, but also of its almost inconceivable beauty, certainly has an effect on me. If a bit of bad news, be it personal or public in nature, ever has me feeling discouraged or pessimistic, an image like this can cheer me by reminding me that the universe is filled with marvels, and that I'm a part of that universe. And to me, that's the very definition of good news. A new metasurface generates tiny holograms, scientists devise a method of observing photons without destroying them, and astronomers capture a stunning image of a star cluster filled with brilliant young stars. That's the good news. Do you want to hear a joke? Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you anyway. What did the cat DJ call his playlist? The Meow Mix. Did you like that joke?